The nursery is a project funded by ACP. So the nursery is a really important project for us and it's one that I'm really excited about. One of the challenges with working with heirloom varietals, they're heirloom and they taste good but they don't produce and I think that's the whole reason why we're seeing the shift overall in co cocoa production just based on yield. So farmers, when you talk to a farmer, they're like, okay, what am I going to get from the field? And that's why we're seeing these CCN51s, these other um, varietals that are just purely bred for production and flavors kind of cast to the side. And you'll see that with tomatoes and other agricultural crops. What's really exciting about this is we need to pair market realities with production and flavor and find a marriage between the two. We want to have good yields and high production and we want to have great flavor. And the only way to do that is to carefully select genetics within the heirloom designated trees to find the best trees that will give the farmers the highest yield, the best disease resistance. And we'd be kind of leading the farmers astray if we said, okay, plant this variety, it's our heirloom, we have to use heirloom, but not doing anything to address the fact that these are really low yielding varietals because they haven't been bred for productivity, they're bred for flavor, people love the flavor. So we want to keep that, but we also want to keep the very best trees. And so what we're doing with this nursery is to select the best trees within the network with a scientific process. And we've been collecting data for months now. We're doing it because it's really important to us to get the best trees. We collect the pods, we take all the pod data, the production data for these trees, and we're going to select five of the best mother trees from the designated farms. Once we have that, we're going to take the scion wood, the bud wood, from the mother trees and make clones of these trees and distribute them through our network and try to boost production that way. HCP is funding this project because their whole mission is to preserve these fine flavor varietals that are basically being cast away on a global scale because they're not producing enough. Their mission is making it economically viable for the farmers but also still keeping the local variety. So they have funded a project for us to select the mother trees, to get the agronomists down here, to uh, so do field trials because they also, you know, you can select the trees but then you have to actually test them in the field. And so we have had a couple of agronomists come down and design scientific field trials for these. It's huge for us and we're really proud that we're entrusted to do that. We already bought 8,000 seeding bags. Out of those, it's like 6,000 that were already planted. And out of those 6,000, we're going to select 1,000 plants to do their field trials. We are in my farm, which I've planted five years ago when I started to work with Maya Monte. At the nursery, we will be grafting those young seedlings from the mother tree. And then once our research is completed, then we could introduce it to most of the farmers who are interested and then they could get their boardwood from the field. Our whole mission isn't to just keep this to ourselves. We want to have an accessible clonal garden to say, even if we don't have a nursery to supply all the farmers, the farmers should be able to access the propagated material to clone those trees over and over again once we decide that they're the right trees. It's a small trial that is going to create an agroforestry system and see if indeed these clones that we made perform well in the field on a production level. 